somebody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid Alex nigger! Ethnic cleansing, a game banned everywhere. Shadow banned completely, kneeled on by big tech trying to censor the truth. But I'm a truth seeker, so I dug and I dug and I dug to find this game. And by that, I mean I googled ethnic cleansing game download and clicked on the second result. It has the same censorship level as Kiwi Forms, yet a fraction of the use of the word nigger. If you take it upon yourself to willingly download and install this game, guaranteeing your addition to a watch list and potential arrest, I don't know why the fuck I downloaded this in this country. I might be fucked lads. If you have completed the first trial and avoided being arrested, you will be blessed on the startup of the game by being given the second trial of turning this shit down. It's fucking deafening. To do this, I would advise a dual monitor setup and making sure a task manager opens on a different monitor from the one the game launches on. I have much experience in this field from RPGs. Just just RPGs. If you have overcome the second trial, you are given yet another, truly a gamer moment. You have to figure out the dumb fuck controls. If you're going to claim to be the superior race, maybe don't tie the crouch key to A. Now this game was made in 2002. It is in fact older than me. So maybe I'm just too young to know, but these controls are retarded and I don't care about them ever being the norm. A is crouch, D jumps, and the arrow keys move the camera at a pace where the turtle would have won, purely off speed. So now you may wonder, what the fuck moves the character then? S moves forward, Z moves left, X moves back, and C moves right. I previously claimed to be the leader of the white race due to the competition being gay and Mexican. I now understand why there is no competition. I would like to renounce my title and race and humbly request for the Jews to take me in because they are... Winning. Yes, I will use any excuse to put Abby Shapiro in a video. Can you blame me? Shift does run though. However, this is immediately fucked up by H holstering the gun. There is no purpose for this. Every enemy still shoots you immediately. And I get they are... Mm -hmm. But why have the mechanic? And also, the bigger crime. That's me pressing the H key. You are now locked into the game of what unholsters. Take a guess, take a guess. Correct guesses receive a personal kiss card with a picture of Abby Shapiro I gooned onto. Okay, I already did an Abby Shapiro bit, but can you blame me? The correct answer is five. The number five. I have told you every button in the game. There are no more. So the controls for this game are the arrow keys, A, S, D, Z, X, C, shift, and five. I pray for a white genocide. I think I can get away with saying that. But it's live gameplay commentary time. This is me pressing the 5 key. Oh, okay, it just didn't work. I guess I'll go again. Is it not 5? Am I retarded? 3, 2, 1. Wow. Look at that speed. Now let's step outside. I can't see shit. And I can feel pain. Now at first I thought this was bad game design, you know, not being able to see the enemy when they have full map vision unless there is an object blocking them. Then I realised it's night time and they are black. It's biblically accurate. Along with this poster, again, game older than me, I have no fucking idea what this is and I remain unaware because you put genuine political messaging in an open area where every enemy can just kill you. Absolute fucking melts. But you also have a kill device. I believe this is meant to be an M16. Gun bros on suicide watch. Don't be cowards, you have the means to achieve it. Much like the negros, this is biblically accurate and never reloads. You have an ammo gauge that appears to never deplete, so it's myth bust in time. How long can I shoot at this wall before all my ammo is gone? Now I'm not a hack grifter trying to pad a video into 10 minutes, so I'll just do it and say how long it takes. It takes two minutes. But don't worry, in case you exhaust all of this ammo, the devs put an ammo pick up in the start room just in case you need it. But it's time. Is this game actually edgy? No, not really. Maybe I'm just a psycho and yeah, probably. But you just shoot black people. There isn't really anything to it. It's been done and it's been done better by one guy modding Doom. 
Ooga booga, nigga. I can even do the verbal equivalent right now. Ahem. <clears throat> Nigger. That's about the same punch the game has. There's two posters about the Jews. My boy the Happy Merchant makes an appearance. Whenever I see him, it reminds me of Abby Shapiro and her huge tits. Mmm. Jarway damn. I want mommy, I want milk. You may have also noticed something. It runs like shit. You noticing this actually means you are not white. As white people are born with the class trait of bullet time whenever we are near a person of melanated descent. So again, this is just biblically accurate. There are maybe more levels, but I can't beat the first level. I've been felted. Can I recommend this, the free game? Fuck no. Everything in this video is everything it offers. It isn't worth the watchlist placement. This is something a 40 to 6 year old out of touch boomer trying to be down with the kids would pretend to enjoy. TTD, my fellow epic keckers. Pepe touched my spaghetti. It's fucking cringe. And also, there are a group of people that exist called the Japanese who are so cracked out of the mind on hentai tentacle porn, they've inadvertently created better alternatives. There's Resident Evil 5, there's Persona 5, there's Shadow the Hedgehog, there are many uh, out of touch Japanese dev making a game about shooting black people that are better than this. So some advice for the National Alliance 22 years later. If you want to recruit people to your movement, you need something good. Something enticing. Something like Abby Shapiro's massive milk.